Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Friday, the 1st of December. Te Fata Auto says it's aware of a staff member with no clinical background spreading misinformation about vaccines. The health agency wouldn't give more detail, but is reminding people vaccines are safe and effective. It points to publicly available data that shows four deaths in New Zealand are possibly linked to adverse reactions following COVID vaccination. Te Fata Auto says the male staff member is no longer at work and an employment investigation is underway. Chris Luxon's defending the government's hesitancy in accepting amendments to the World Health Organization's regulations. The WHO is reassessing its guidelines for how countries should act in public health events, such as during a pandemic. The Prime Minister says he wants to make sure the amendments align with our interests. We're just taking a a beat as a new government coming in to say, hey, listen, uh, before we sign up to any international agreements, we are always going to act in New Zealand's national interests. We want to make sure there is a national interest test that has been met, and then we'll move forward on that basis. An Auckland crime syndicate run by Vietnamese nationals has been busted by police. Dozens of indoor cannabis crops have been found, as well as 10 kilograms of packaged cannabis with a street value of up to $25 million. $100,000 in cash has been seized. Emily Ansel has more. Twelve people are likely to be deported after the investigation, which included the Ministry of Business, Employment and Innovation. Most were migrants in the country unlawfully. The syndicate was mostly run in the Waitemata and County's Manuko districts. Ten people are scheduled to appear in court in the coming days, and further arrests are possible. Police have found the body of a man who went missing after going snorkelling on Riversdale Beach off the coast of Wairarapa yesterday afternoon. Chair of the Pharmac and ACC boards Steve Mahari has resigned from both positions. Health Minister Shane Reti and ACC Minister Matt Ducey accepted the resignations yesterday. The Taxpayers' Union says Mahari shouldn't have been allowed to quit as the chair of Pharmac's board and should have been sacked instead. A spokesperson says Mahari's refused to front media or explain his board's confidence in Pharmac's chief executive. It's been 20 years since Hollywood came to Wellington to celebrate the final instalment of the Lord of the Rings films. To mark the two-decade milestone, Weta Workshops organising special screenings of The Return of the King in Wellington and Auckland. Weta Workshop co-founder Sir Richard Taylor says working on the films has changed the trajectory of their careers and their lives. Of course, Lord of the Rings changed the trajectory of New Zealand, of New Zealand tourism, of multiple people's lives, of multiple fans around the world. In sport, a pivotal fourth day looms for the Black Caps in the opening cricket test against Bangladesh in Silet. Sam Jones is the best placed of the New Zealanders during the second round of the Australian Golf Open in Sydney. He's carded a four under par 68 to sit at seven under overall, two shots off the lead. And boxer Jerome Pampalone believes victory over Mexican Rogelio Mejedina in Fangare yesterday, no, that's tomorrow, I should say, could earn him a world title fight. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.